So, I guess I'll finally go ahead and talk about this thing. I'll start in the back. Uh, so the cells like actually mounted. I need some rib nuts. My homie's got those. He said he was going to bring those over tonight or whatever. The pump setup and everything is under here. Needs mounted as well. And then uh, the batteries relocated. It's in a box, but the cover's not on it and shit. And then uh, get the back seat back in it. Stock fuel tank's getting ripped out tonight. And then I gotta run that power wire better than that and shit. I just wanted to get it running or whatever. Still auto trans, blah, who cares. And then uh, up front here, I had the fuel pressure rig mounted like right here on the timing cover or whatever. And I took it off to do a couple of things. Just got to mount it back up. No matter what I do and where I go, I cannot find fucking valve cover gaskets that actually fit this piece of shit. It's kind of getting on my nerves. I need uh, to drill and tap like right here for a map sensor. And then I think I was just going to weld a bung somewhere in the pipe for the intake air temp. Uh, turbo still spins good. No play or anything. Uh, the front mount. That's CS Racing Boy. And then, uh, didn't really have too much room for my coolers back here where they would get air, so I'm just gonna put a trans cooler right here. No oil cooler or anything yet. I'm gonna get a thermostatic sandwich plate instead of just run it wide open all the time. Uh, the ABS relocation looks like shit, but that's where I put it. I just, uh, I was able to like bend the lines up without kinking them and get it over here and then uh, just deloomed the harness and plugged it in. This negative cable can come out. Uh, this, Like I said, this just has to get run through the car and I have to get like a block or something instead of just zip tie it to all the power cables. Oh, uh, where else? I had a fire last year or whatever so i need to redo part of this harness i have a bunch of heat shrink and wiring loom and shit in the basement because i was just gonna try and like resheath the harness use only what i needed to for the the the, uh, the standalone ecu and shit uh the turbo is gonna end up getting water lines like right here i was just gonna run them off the back side of the throttle body here to the turbo from the turbo to where this guy goes down the catch can i'm literally just going to shove a dash 10 uh bulkhead down in there i'm going to trim it up so it fits down in there really good and then i'll dash 10 off of this and just clamp the dash 10 onto that and then the problem with my catch can was this is a little too tall for like up here or over there so I'm just going to zip tie the catch can to this charge tube. Uh, yeah, here's some fucking brand new valve cover gaskets that didn't fucking fit junk. I got that from fucking AutoZone too. Uh, the belt has still been holding up. I like my belt system. I really do. Who needs a ski in a race car? Uh, I took the dash all the way out. I was just waiting on fucking parts, and there's no HVAC, anything behind there. It's just a fucking hollowed out dash now. And you get in here and clean all the fucking trash out of it. <coughs> and the reason why I'm finally saying something, oh yeah, the car got fucking impounded from just sitting out in front of my house for so long and shit. So, what the, the goal is going to be is, this guy's coming out tonight. I'm going to put a new crank, new bearings, and new rods in it. I'm going to plastic gauge everything and then reassemble, put it back into the car. It's got, I got a new oil pump and shit too. And then, uh, 
I got new rings, so we're going to regap the rings on the pistons, and then I'm going down to the single layer GE gasket over the 1.8 millimeter Tomei gasket that I have. And then uh, this, I'm going to take some JB weld, pull this bolt, fill this thing with JB weld so I don't have to have a vacuum cap on that anymore. And then the same with this. I'm going to pull this off and then fill the inside of that with some JB weld so that it doesn't, you know, send boost down to the fuel rail and shit. These stock injectors, I'm going to pull these out and decap them because, yeah, I'm going fucking broke spending all this money on this fucking thing. It's not fucking cheap. And uh, I'm going to run the decapped injectors on uh, a micro squirt. For a few months or whatever get everything running make sure it's fucking reliable and not gonna rod knock again and then i'll wire in the, the big boy fuel tech and uh get going and shit like i said though i chose the fuel tech i mean nothing against mega squirt like i said i'm gonna run a micro squirt it's like 300 bucks or whatever but just got this giant fucking hole in my fucking dash from where somebody fucking came in and just ripped my fucking radio out so I'm going to try and take care of that and make it look better with the fuel tech and still, you know, get what I need out of it, which is tunability and make sure this thing's reliable. Uh, I do have a radio over there, but I don't think I tried to wire some shit in. I checked the fuses and everything. And this, this part of the harness is just dead. The HVAC, the radio, everything from when they ripped this out is dead. And I cannot figure out why in the fuck I can't get power to radio. I can't now figure out why I can't get power to my blower motor or anything. So that's why I ripped the fucking HVAC out. <sighs> uh, I got a little bit of body rot here. Nothing too major. Probably fill this up with some spray foam and then lift the side skirt back up and get a self-tapper or something in it. I'm probably... Hit it with the heat gun and make it a little flexy or whatever. It looks like the guy I bought it from had a self-tapper in it or something. Oh, my fucking wheels are cracked. My rotors are rusting like a motherfucker. It's just time to get this thing out of here and uh, get her driving around again. And then uh, I'm going to remove some of the stickers this guy had on it. Like, fuck this. Fuck this sticker. Well, the wise Coast stickers, the BC ones and shit can stay. The 350,000 plus sticker can stay. I like that sticker. And then uh, I got more stickers. I'll probably uh, take off that Powell sticker. Because it's just flaking up. Some flaky clear coat. You know, car's got almost 400k miles on it. As, now uncommonly i normally get roasted just because like i didn't do standalone ecu and shit but around here all anybody seems to care about is paint because that's all i ever get roasted for out here with this thing is that it, it ain't got no fucking paint job so 